Hey you guys, Snowdrama here, and welcome to part three of my JSON Utility System Serializable tutorial. If you haven't watched the other two, two parts, go check out my channel for the playlist that has all the parts to this. You'll need to have seen one and two in order to know where we are with this one. In the previous ones, we loaded an item, we, we learned how to load, load a text file into uh, the game. And then we also learned how to uh, take those and store them into a list which contains multiple items. As you can see here, we have all of the items listed in our in our view here. But as, also, as I said in uh, the second episode, this is not the ideal structure because if I wanted to look up, say, what the ID for or the power was for a diamond sword, and I knew the ID, I couldn't just look it up. I couldn't say, give me all of the stats for the diamond sword because, or sorry, instead of saying diamond sword, I would say, give me all of the stats for item ID number three. And I wanna get the power of item ID number three. I can't do that because I would have to iterate through everything in this list um, and it would be very difficult. Uh, it would be, it'd be a time consuming process to iterate through this list, especially if the game gets really big and has hundreds of items. So this is not the ideal way to store them. So today we're going to just convert that list into a dictionary, uh, using the IDs. So we'll go back over here to our, uh, item loader. We're going to close all these extra tabs. We don't need all of them today. Um, so we'll go to our item loader here. Now we see that load item loads, uh, I've been calling it a dictionary the whole time. And that's what we're going to be using. We're going to be using a dictionary instead of a, uh, instead of a list. Now dictionaries, similar to, uh, similar to lists, they store things for you. They're containers to store things. But the difference is when you store an item in a dictionary, you actually store them with a key value. So, or as a key value pair. So if I say I want a key uh, as an integer and then a item object as the value, then when I want to look up the item, all I have to say is, hey dictionary, here's key number 105. Give me whatever the item is at value, uh, whatever the 105th value is in the dictionary. And the, the key can be anything, but we're using IDs because uh, I, n integer lookups are faster. So in this case, we're going to define this as int item items. So now we have a dictionary which uses integers as a key, items as a value, and is called items. And instead of this, we're going to say dictionary, and this is going to be uh, int item. And so now that we have this, when we do load items, right, instead of just add my item, we're going to have to use uh, the dictionary add essentially. So the basic way to add is just like we said before, um, you load the item, the item in and you're going to store it as key value. So in this case, I say my item is the value but my item dot ID is the key or sorry, my item dot item ID is the key. Now, the reason that this brings up a good point, the reason that I stated before that we needed the keys to be unique is, uh, I'll explain in a second. So let's come back. Let's hop back on over to here. You'll notice that this is the list itself has gone away. And that's because dictionaries can't be listed like lists are. So it no longer shows here. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to go through and manually uh, do this. Actually, you know what we can do? We'll, we'll add a list here, right? We'll go back and add the list back in. For now, we don't really, in, in a real situation, you don't really want to do this because this is allocating double the memory, right? So we have this list item as items, and then whenever we add an item to this, um, to the dictionary, actually, after we load all the items, we'll do a for each through the dictionary, because we can do that. 
So after we've loaded all of the items into the dictionary, we're going to just quickly do a for each. I'm, I copied and pasted this just because it's easy. But in this case, we will say um, in dictionary for every key value pair as int and item in as entry here, we will say um, items list dot add entry items list we'll name this items list okay so now that we've created an items list all we do is we add them all to the dictionary and then at the very end we iterate through the entire dictionary to add all of the items to a standard list again not ideal oh sorry it's not a uh, dictionary it's items everything in the items dictionary sorry a little confused um, that's why we got that error there. So now that we have that, oh, okay. So I made a, uh, a quick error in this situation. Um, what I can do is instead of doing this, I can say, uh, items, uh, entry dot key. And then I can add the temp. Ah, value. <laughs> I, I completely messed up there and I just forgot the capitalization on it. Um, that was my bad. So now it is working. Now we have an items list that has zero. We will run this and then it will do the same thing. Now we have all of our items just like we did before. Now, here's, here's the thing. Um, right now it's working perfectly fine. However, let's explain now what happens if, let's say we say that the diamond sword and the adamantium sword both have the same item ID. So in somebody forgot to change the item ID to make the item ID different between the diamond and the adamantium. Well, in this case, what we should expect is that diamond sword will get loaded adamantium sword will also get loaded and then overwrite the diamond sword because dictionaries just basically add items based on their keys. If the keys are the same, then it gets overwritten. So now we're going to do a check to see what would happen if we took our adamantium sword and our diamond sword and we made them have the same item ID. As you'll see when I run this, or as you can see here, that the key, we get an error that says that an argument, uh, an element with the same key already exists in the dictionary. So to prevent this kind of thing from happening, what we can do is down here in the load item, we can do a, a has check. So if items has, and then we're going to say my item dot item ID. So we're going to make sure that the key doesn't already exist. Okay. Now, if the key already exists, then what we can do is then we can, um, I believe it's actually capital has. Does not contain the definition for has. But what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the if items has something, uh, then we're going to handle it differently. Otherwise, we'll just add as normal. So we'll put that in here and do this. Okay, so I made a mistake there. It is a contains key, not a has. And so now you'll can, you can see that if I do this, all of a sudden we're missing the adamantium sword. And that's because... I didn't add the adamantium sword because they have the same, uh, the same ID. So what I can do is in this case, this is actually when uh, debug logging comes in handy. Um, so log warning. So we're going to log a warning to the console. If there is a problem, we will say uh, item uh and then we'll we'll concatenate in the my item dot name uh 
he already exists as, and then we can quickly say items my item dot item id dot name and then what that'll do is now that allows me to quickly uh now i can have when i when i run oops doesn't contain a definition for name items oh yeah sorry item name So what that will do is when I in, when I experience a collision like this, I will get a warning here that says item adamantium sword key already exists as diamond sword. So now I've just got I've actually created a legitimate error message that's reminding me to go in and change the key of the adamantium sword because it already exists as a diamond sword. So now I can go back, change that into a four. And then when we load, we will do the same thing. We will see that we have uh, all of our items again because adamantium sword is no longer colliding with the diamond sword. Now, if we wanted to, so let's go back to our item loader here. So right now I just do nothing. But if I wanted to, I could also say that uh, items... Um, at my item dot ID equals my item. So in this case, when we run into a collision, so let's set this back to three. When we run into a collision, I do still want to save that value. So now you can see that our list actually contains the wooden sword, the stone sword, the iron sword, and the adamantium sword instead of the diamond sword. So I've overwritten the diamond sword with the adamantium sword. All right, and so that was the that was uh, using a dictionary instead of a list uh, to store items. This is a much better solution because what you can then do is say I have an array of integers and that's my item IDs. Uh, for the player so the player could have you know a just a quick integer array of uh, item IDs right uh, player items Right and it could just easily be a bunch of integers and that would be all of the items that the player has in their inventory and you can quickly do a lookup for any item so let's say oh i want to look up item number four. Oh, item number four is the diamond sword or is the adamantium sword because i know what the id is i know what the id of the adamantium sword is it's four so i can go just look it up in the dictionary of items in the item loader class and that can give me all the stats so i can look up the stats of any item in the game at any time um using this method Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a, definitely leave a like if you've watched the whole series and you like the whole series. Let's me know what kind of game, what kind of videos you guys want to see. Um, as if this helps you, then definitely leave a like. Leave a comment. Again, let me know if you uh, if you like the video or if you wanted to uh, or what you're going to use it for in your game down in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and i will see you guys later peace out